So today I'm showing you how I build a destroyed snack booth. As always, I started with a sketch and then went on to cut out a base plate 10 times 10 centimeters because that size fits perfectly on last week's game board. So I thought uh, roller doors would look cool, like the owner closed them so nobody would break in and this is why they are like this. And I cut them out of corrugated paper and I cut out some slats that are starting to fall off. Here I'm also gluing on a lamp that I cast from plaster, because everybody has a lamp at the front door I guess. So this is the second wall, where the owner of the snack booth could serve his customers. Here I'm marking out where I want the walls to go and where there are destroyed walls. Now I'm cutting a piece out of the walls at a 45 degree angle, so they fit nicely together. And here I'm building what's left of the destroyed walls. Then I glued everything together with a lot of wood glue. So yeah, every house needs a roof. Here I'm smearing wood glue onto the walls in hopes to change up the texture a bit. And now back to the lamp. So there's a pipe where a cable comes out that runs into the lamp and I thought this would look cool. Here I'm continuing the cracks on the wall onto the roof, so everything looks coherent. Let's make some rubble. So I'm using foam board offcuts um, as the collapsed roof. Here I'm filling up some seams with wood glue. Now back to the rubble. So I cover up the floor in wood glue and sprinkle some shattered plaster plates over it. And after that I sprinkle over some sand in different sizes. and I seal everything together under a layer of watered-down wood glue.
I also seal the bottom to counter warping. Now it's time to clean up. And now I can start painting. So my paint layer number one is grey gesso. And another layer of grey gesso. Now here I'm speeding up drying time. I mix together a turquoise color to paint on all the roller doors because it looks fancy. Now I just glue on an imperial propaganda poster, because why not? So now I'm continuing to paint with gunmetal and I'm stippling it on to make it look like the paint chipped off. Now I'm doing the same again, but this time with brown and orange paint to simulate rust. Here I'm quickly fixing some painting mistakes. And now I flood everything with black brown wash. Then I dry brushed everything in two grey tones and re-established some gunmetal. To get some more color I painted on some watered down light brown here and there. The last detail was to use my airbrush to paint on a light effect. I used a really light yellow for the emitting light and then put emphasis on the light source with a pure white. And here is the finished destroyed snack booth. So I hope you could learn something today, I hope you liked the video and maybe you want to like the video and subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that. Goodbye, till next time.